um, yeah. So original wait time equals to parent dot wait time. So we temporarily cache that variable and then we set its value to temporary to 100 milliseconds. And then now we're checking again if um, number of slides. And um, so we don't have number of slides in this scope over here. And the reason for that is we actually haven't told the slide right to accept number of slides. So we say number of slides. All right. So if we come down here, we have access to number of slides. So if number of slides is more than one, um, we're actually going to call this function recursively. So we we'll say parent dot slide left. Uh, sorry, slide right. I mean, and we're going to say minus minus that is decrease number of slides first, and then call it. So don't call it and then decrease it, but decrease it first then call it. Okay. So we'll restore the value of parent dot wait time again. So we'll say equals to original wait time. All right, so that's fine. So let's recap again, see that we spelled everything right. So number of slides, everything is fine. Uh, let's go back in our browser and then refresh. Uh, we shall have, if we click on here, it should take us to second one, third one, fourth one, first one. Yep, everything seems to be working fine. And just one more thing, guys, we're actually going to do the auto scrolling for the slider. We're actually going to go back now in our init function and actually hook that up right now. So how we're going to do that is we're going to check if um, the user has passed a Boolean true, true value of for um, auto slide. So we say parent dot um, auto slide. Sorry. Yeah, if parent the auto slide equal to true, we're actually going to um, say parent dot. So we actually haven't had a um, function for auto scrolling. So we'll say setup auto scroll, and we actually have to go now and actually write that auto scroll function. It will be very short, but um, let's just do it right now. All right? Okay. So um. We'll just scroll down in our file right now here and at the bottom just after everything just before advanced carousel we'll add another function as usual it will be in the prototype of our um, jQuery slider so we we'll say slider dot prototype dot um, setup auto scroll hopefully I'm spelling that yep and that will be another function and inside that function will as usual cache parent so we say parent equals to this so basically we're going to have a timeout function that will keep um, firing every few seconds or so so we'll say set timeout and we'll have to pass it an anonymous function telling it what to do inside that function and the only thing it will be doing is it will be sliding the carousel to um, the right let me show you basically every few seconds we want the um, slide this function to keep firing so if we on the first one and every few seconds let's say two seconds we want it to go this way and then the next second we want it to do this next second we want it to do this so basically we're sliding the carousel to the left and we are moving to the right okay so the function we need to keep calling is slide left every few seconds so and that's very easy first you're going to say what to do and in this set timeout, it accepts a first um, argument of a function telling it what to do, and the second one is saying how long, every how long to do it. Let's say every three seconds this time, okay? And you can change this to be dynamic, so you can pass it as an option in your carousel here. But um, we're kind of running out of time, so um, we'll um, just hard code it right now, okay? And what we want to do inside a function is we say parent dot slide left, and when we slide left. Um, we want to slide left and then we want to call this function again and since this function when we if we just call it it will this parent here will be out of uh, context so we want to call it giving the context of um, this as um, this parent here so we'll say instead of just saying parent dot setup auto scroll we'll say parent dot setup auto scroll dot call 
I'll just show you why we use the call here and then we'll pass parent okay so what